Computer System Servicing NC2, DOS command program used in computer networking. Learning competencies. After this learning module, the learners will be able to apply the DOS commands in computer networking, check network connectivity using ping command, and checking the default gateway and IP address. DOS command program use in computer networking. Most widely used DOS command, but less essential. Ping is used to test the ability of one network host to communicate with another. Simply enter the ping command, followed by the name or the IP address of the destination host, assuming that there are no network problems or firewalls preventing the ping for, from completing. The remote host will correspond to the ping with four packets. Receiving these packets confirms that a valid and functional network path exists between the two hosts. If you are experiencing problem with network communications, then network statistics can sometimes help point you toward the root cause of the problem. That's where the aptly named netstat command comes into play. This command has a number of different functions, but the most useful of these is to display network summary information for the device. To see this type of summary information, just type netstat-e. The ARP command corresponds to the address resolution protocol. Although it is easy to think of network communications in terms of IP addressing, packet delivery is ultimately dependent on the media access control, or MAC, address of the device's network adapter. This is where the address resolution protocol comes into play. Its job is to map IP addresses to MAC addresses. Fast and easy way of verifying a computer's name, then try using the hostname command. Typing hostname at the command prompt returns the local computer name. Tracer or trace root is a utility for examining the path to a remote host. Functionally, tracer works similarly to ping. The major difference is that Tracer sends a series of ICMP echo requests and the requests TTL increased by one each time. This allows the utility to display the routers through which packets are passing to be identified. When possible, Windows displays the duration and IP address or fully qualified domain name of each hop. One utility that I find myself using constantly is ipconfig. At its simplest, the ipconfig command will display basic IP address configuration information for the device. Simply type ipconfig at the Windows command prompt, and you will be presented with the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway that the device is currently using. NSLOOKUP is a great utility for diagnosing DNS name resolution problems. Just type the NSLOOKUP command and Windows will display the name and IP address of the device's default DNS server. From there, you can type host names in an effort to see if the DNS server is able to resolve the specified host name. P networks use routing tables to direct packets from one subnet to another. The Windows Route utility allows you to view the device's routing tables. To do so, simply type root print. The cool thing about the root command is that it not only shows you the routing table, it lets you make changes. Commands such as root add, root delete, and root change allow you to make routing tables modification on an as-needed basis. The changes that you make can be persistent or non-persistent, depending on whether you use the P-switch. Earlier, 
I talked about the pin utility and the tracer utility and the similarities between them. As you might have guessed, the path pin tool is a utility that combines the best aspects of tracer and pin. Entering the path pin command followed by a host name initiates what looks like a somewhat standard tracer process. Once this process completes, however, the tool takes 300 seconds, 5 minutes to gather statistics and then reports latency and packet loss statistics that are more detailed than those provided by ping or tracer. Ping, test your network connection. NetSH, configure interfaces, routing protocols, filters, and route. Activity 1. Open your DOS commands. Windows logo plus R, then run. Type CMB, then hit the Enter key. 2. Type ipconfig, then enter. 3. You will see the different properties of your Ethernet adapter configuration. 4. Write it down in your notebook. 5. Type title, space, your full name, then enter. 6. This will include your name in your CMD window. 7. Print screen, then save it as ipconfig. Eight. Now type ipconfig slash all. This will show you all your current IP information in all adapters. You can also find your DNS server and MAC address. It will share all the specific information of your Ethernet adapter full TCP IP configuration. You can also see your default gateway and own IP address. 9. Print screen, then save it as ipconfig all. 10. Now type ipconfig space slash release. Use ipconfig release to release your current IP information and obtain a new IP address from the DHCP server. 11. Print screen, then save it as ipconfig re release. 12. Now, type ipconfig space slash renew. This will renew your IP address if you have it set to obtain IP address automatically. 13. Print screen, then save it as ipconfig space renew. 14. Now type ipconfig space slash display DNS. Used to show your current DNS resolver cache logs. 15. Print screen, then save it as ipconfig space display DNS. 16. Now check the default gateway address using ipconfig space slash all 17 now we will use the ping commands type ping plus gateway address 18 print screen then save your work and 19 send it to me through messenger or edmodo or other media account all the screenshots that you made. Computer System Servicing NC2 DOS command program used in computer networking. 